Hey guys, tonight there have been a lot of questions coming in on Edmodo about how to insert a graph into a Word document, so I'm going to quickly show you how to do this. Of course, I'm using Microsoft Word, but I am using it on a Mac. However, the functions should pretty much be the same no matter what platform or version of the software you're using. So notice that your document has the editing tools up top, um, but there are also these tabs going across, and I'm going to click on the one that says Chart. Now, let's pretend like your version of Word maybe doesn't have these tabs here. Another way to get to the chart information is to look for your insert menu, um, put the drop down, um, down, and then scroll until you find something that looks like chart or maybe graph, mine says chart, and again it takes me to the exact same place. So that's two ways to find it. Okay, here are your options for styles of charts, and of course for this information you want to choose bar or column. Now bars are all horizontal. I prefer vertical and so I'm going to choose one of these. Okay, notice it defaults to Excel which is a way to enter your data. Um, I'm going to give you a little peek behind the kimono and drag the screen down so you can see it's already put a graph in our Word document but we need to customize this data for our excellent experiment. Okay, starting with the categories um, we're going to want to write what liquids we used. So first we had a raw egg. That's where we collected data first. Okay, next we use vinegar. Okay, in the next cell I'll type in syrup. Okay, and then we had color water, or you could even put food color. And then if you notice there's not a place for an extra um, piece of information, that's okay, just go down one more cell and it will create a bar graph for you. And this is your liquid of choice. I'm going to write olive oil just for fun. You can put in whatever liquid was your liquid of choice. Okay. Now notice that these bars are clustered and we didn't take three pieces of data on each um, liquid. We didn't measure three different ways, so we need to get rid of at least one of them. You can create um, a graph for both mass and circumference, let's say for example the blue and the red, and just get rid of the green. Or you could create two separate graphs, one for mass and one for circumference, which is what I'm going to show you how to do now because that's just the simplest, especially if you're new to making graphs in a spreadsheet. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of series two, that would be the red bar graph, um, and I'm going to highlight it and hit delete. And I don't want that one. Now I'm going to get rid of the series 3, which has now become the red one. Um, it was green a minute ago. And let's go ahead and delete the column. Okay. So that looks like a simple bar graph that you're probably used to seeing. All right. So I'm going to make up these numbers for data. I'm going to say that my raw egg weighed um, 50 grams. And the mass after vinegar was 100 and the mass after syrup, let's just say it was 35, colored water, 90, and olive oil, I'll guess 75. Okay. So let's go back to Word document. And so now we have um, data or bars for each of our measurement days. Notice it's created a scale for you. Now series one is not very helpful because I don't know what that means. Um, I'm going to go back over here and tell that it, this means mass, oops, let's highlight that, mass, and let's go ahead and put in grams. Okay, notice it's changed. But I don't really want that for my title, so I'm going to add the excellent experiment. Okay, so now we know that this chart is for the excellent experiment and it's showing mass in grams. You'll repeat the process to create one for circumference. Now there's one last thing I'd like you to do. If you click on each bar, and, or really right click it, you'll get some options for editing your data. And I would like for you to add your data labels, and this way it's very clear what the mass was for your egg each day and what the liquid's effect was on the mass of your egg after it was soaked. Okay, again, don't forget to repeat the process for circumference, or if you're feeling brave, you can use multicolored bar graphs 
to indicate both measurements, but you'll have to set up two scales, one for mass and one for circumference. Okay, I hope that helped. Good luck.